Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel today with Frugal Mama. Um, today I'll be talking about myself, y'all. Last week I did a blood test for to see if I have lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, and the test came out. They call me Monday. Well, actually, sometime last week, and I had an appointment this Monday. And he told me that my rheumatoid arthritis was positive, and I had a um, normal level. And supposedly, I have the result here. It says that the result of the range, the normal range, is supposed to be zero point zero point zero. Well, anyway, thirteen point nine. And my, and my level was 650. That's really high. And they flagged it high. And I just could not believe that. And now I have to go see a, a specialist, a rheumatologist, whatever they call it. And... Because I went to the doctor because I kind of knew I had a problem with arthritis, but I always put it off for years, and I was problem with stiffness. I wake up in the morning, I'm like so stiff. And sometimes when I do work, a lot of work, and I'll be so tired, so fatigued. And sometimes I just feel so bad. And I always have like a lot of problems with inflammation in my, in my chest and my back, my spine, my upper thorax. I have a lot of pain there. I've been dealing with that pain for years since I had my child. They did a spinal tap on me and it went bad. They did it wrong and that caused problems and headaches, especially when it gets cold. I'd be wearing a hat or a hoodie, whatever, to cover my head because it would hurt so bad. I'd get headaches. And lately, and I know my weight don't help either, it makes it worse, but my knee's been stiff, especially when I'm trying to do garden work, my knee's like stiff, and I'll just get on my knees to do work, or just sit down on the ground and try to do garden work, because I couldn't bend my knee. But they gave me some anti-inflammatory medicine, now I can bend my knee. But when I don't take it, it's like start bothering me again. Feels inflamed. And, and it helped me feel more. That pill makes me not feel less tired. That pain, inflammatory pill. But when I don't take it that day, next day, I can feel like tired and stuff and hurting. And, and it just really bothers me. And also that, and the reason why I went to the doctor because my legs, my heel been hurting and and I like I'm having a hard time walking, especially me when I'm so tired from doing the stuff, and but I can't walk. It's just getting so bad, and I'm like. And I'm tired of being my knee stiff and my leg, you know, it's very embarrassing. And so that's why I finally went and plus my heart, I could feel my heart, it was acting weird. I feel like my heart racing, like when I lay on the side or my heart was like racing. It just didn't feel right. I said, I wonder what's going on. and. That's why I went to the doctor too. Mm. I don't know, it causes inflammation, you know. RA inflames your organs, it causes your problems in your organs, and it's a systemic thing, and all kinds of number of things that happens. And to top it off, I'm on. Uh, Medication for depression and anxiety. I I got I started having that problem when I was pregnant with my last child, 
and she right now she's eight years old and I've been on medication for depression and anxiety for the past eight years and I wish I didn't have to be on medicine you know and I hate being on medication and on top it off now I gotta be on another medication for the arthritis rheumatoid arthritis you know I wish I had to take any medicine at all and the doctor was surprised that that I had that because he said usually people they get not diagnosed at a real young age. I guess you know you know sometimes you just can't afford to go to the doctor. You just ignore it, or and I just got tired of it and I just didn't start feeling bad. That's why I went. You know, I hate feeling bad and. And I have to drive an hour away too. And I have to go like to Austin to the doctor specialist because that's the, what my insurance takes. The, the office and the one that ins the my insurance the provider they approve the one in Austin, not here. And, but even though the one is closest one is like thirty minutes away, but I have to drive an hour away. No. And yeah, it's a bummer. And I really don't like to drive in the big cities, but when I have to, I have to. And all this week, last week, I've been kind of really depressed because of this going on and about the result and and you know my son's birthday is coming up it's just tomorrow. He would have been 26 tomorrow, and it's been over 15 years since he passed. From he had acute myeloid leukemia. He passed away when he was 11 years old, and I've been kind of depressed. Even though y'all see me, if, if y'all watching this, y'all watch my penny shopping videos. Even though I did that video, but yesterday from doing all that shopping. My back hurts a lot, and all I did just the basics in my home: take the kid to school, and make sure they're doing, it. take a shower, and they gotta behave, and make dinner, and wash my dishes, and clean up a little bit. And I didn't do much because I was so tired from all that shopping, you know, and carrying the stuff in and out of the trunk. It's stressful, and but you know it gets me going and makes me feel happy, you know, just doing things, you know, like penny shopping and stuff like that. That's what get me going, and not feel depressed. Especially tomorrow, only this time of year of November and December are the hardest times of the year for me because my son's birthday and he passed away in December December the 4th and you know those times you know a lot of people have their special moment time but for me it's a sad time because you just remember my son and his birthday and the day he was born and, and also that he passed away in that time you know, it's, it's hard, but I guess time goes by and you just like, you kind of like, you know, accept it, accept the, what happened, but, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to let you know about this because, I don't know, I'm just giving you part of my story of my life and my struggles and that not everybody's life everybody has some kind of situation going mm. to stay strong even though things happen in your life you know stay positive and keep going no matter what and that the Lord give you strength that's all I wanted to say y'all and I guess there's enough talking. And if you're watching this, thank you.
for watching it and goodbye. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.